Everything about Apple Pro here it has been an insane week of Apple leaks just and I think I'm getting on top of the news even more will come out we took our time to craft our renders and I hope you like our best yet ok so let's get into it the iPhone 12 Pro design has leaked this is it its final form confirmed by multiple sources of Max Weinbach John Pross or several other sources I have do confirm that this is legit so this leak originated from an iOS 14 early build from concept iPhone and then later by Fudge Twitter leaker and has been confirmed by multiple sources to be correct Apple is in the final stages of prototyping and this is an instruction manual for the upcoming iPhone depicting the new lighter sensor and how Apple will be equipping their upcoming 2020 iPhone lineup with this sensor so I just wanted to say we weren't too far off the only difference between our concept was the lighter sensor is even larger than that of the iPad Pro which is not surprising Apple wants their iPhones to be the most capable and considering the iPad Pro lenses themselves are smaller it makes sense that the lighter sensor on the iPad Pro would also be smaller I say it looks cool I mean only logical that Apple would move forward in this direction and the center flash was correct even the microphone mounted in between the lenses on the bottom was correct surprisingly and I wouldn't even be surprised if this is how it does look on the inside based on the new iPad Pro camera housing that this one would look very similar with a 3D time of flight on the bottom right it's hard to tell if this graphic confirms a boxy design the iPhone 4 like design that Ming Chi Kuo confirmed for this year's iPhones as it is a 2D image but I would like to think that it does in a separate report today John Prosser confirmed that Apple is very close to the finalization of their iPhone 12 lineup he shared this graphic with the details inside so the lower end 5.4 inches and 6.1 inches iPhones will base the larger 6.1 and 6.2 inches iPhone 12 Pro models will remain stainless steel all will have a smaller notch and by the way the knot you're seeing in our concepts this is based on the earlier iPhone 11 Pro from January 15th which was one of the ones Apple was considering it had this exact same notch there so it's the most accurate look at what a notch could look like if Apple were to make it smaller which John Prosser is saying Apple will be doing as earlier predicted only the high end 6.1 and 6.212 Pros will have the additional lighter sensor and three cameras the two lower end models will not have three cameras and a lighter sensor only dual lenses I personally wouldn't even be surprised if Apple kept a rounded design on the lower end 5.4 and 6.1 inches iPhones and introduced that steely boxy look for the 6.1 at 6.7 inches that would be a pretty cool way to differentiate a pro and non-pro device and John confirms that we might be seeing the final CADs within one to two months here that's very exciting we did get those around May June for the iPhone 11 Pro and all the case makers can start working directly off of those calves and speaking of CADs wanted to share our latest graphics with you we just filed our second design pad for our lock mount magnet system honestly so exciting seeing the entire process and how it looks making the graphics very excited about the future of the ecosystem of magnetic products on our case for everyone that pre-ordered we're making good headway but as you know we pushed our launch frame up into may due to the COVID 1908 so stay tuned for updates on that and prosser mentions that because apple is done with the prototyping there are only about two months behind on release so we'll be seeing a staggered release likely October November but it should still happen this year for the iPhone 12 series and a few other leaks from the fudged Twitter leaker who says that the Apple a 14 chip code name is Firestorm pretty cool sounding not what it'll be called just the development name and fudge confirms that b 389 is indeed a near tag placeholder development name shared this screenshot with us so he does have access to the iOS 14 leaked build adding even more credence to the fact that that leak of the iPhone 12 Pro was correct a 905 Mac has published an exclusive iPhone say report which I must say take with a grain of salt as a certain aspect of it was not right and that was the release time frame they said that would happen on of course the naming they did confirm would be the iPhone series 2020 and not iPhone 9 that we've been hearing I honestly like the idea of Apple relinquishing iPhone 7 and then 2020 would be the moniker explaining the iPhone 7 from the older version and 905 Mac confirms that we'll be seeing three colors for this new iPhone 7 one being product red which I love the idea of if Apple would have themed this as the iPhone 8 style product red the iPhone 7 2020 would look incredible glossy nice black elements I would love to see something like this and considering it's being based on the iPhone 8 I'm sure that Apple could do.
something similar I just hope they keep a black front and not a white screen other colors include white and black a 905 Mac confirms the storage sizes which would be 64 128 and 256 gigabytes 95 Mac does not know the pricing for this upcoming iPhone 7 earlier we heard $399 starting price speculated at 449 so it'll be somewhere around the $400 mark now 9f iMac does not know the immediate Immediate launch date has been rumored by John Prosser that it would be happening on the 14th or the 15th of this month with an actual release date on the 22nd and there have been a ton of listings all around. Virgin Mobile Verizon even on the official Apple site we saw a couple listings one for a screen protector that directly references the iPhone 7 and an Apple Care listing so we know it's happening imminently possibly on the 14th or 15th of this month ok and some juicy iOS 14 leaks this is coming from from Dongle Book Pro a leaker known to Max Wine back and he shared the wallpaper interface for iOS 14 it looks incredible so Apple is making several changes in the wallpaper area of iOS 14 first off they're starting new wallpaper collections or there will be grouping wallpapers in certain categories such as earth and moon flowers and classic stripes users will be able to scroll through those collections to find wallpapers easier also there's a new gradient option so apple is including some sort of default gradients in ios 14 awesome and it appears that apple is finally giving you some sort of flexibility and customization of the home screen similar to that the way you would customize your apple watch with a feature called home screen screen appearance 9 to 5 Mac is reporting on this that it would theoretically allow you to add widgets which you can then move around and interact with I wonder how similar it would be to the jailbreak tweak iOS blocks a long time favorite honestly very intuitive you'd be able to pinch and zoom certain widgets but apparently Apple will be doing something with the widgets on the home screen in iOS 14 could this be the year we finally see some major changes to the home screen probably not earlier John Prosser regarding WWDC did say we're likely to see several slated releases one for the Apple over ear headphones and by the way Max Wine back in a separate report is saying Apple was originally aiming for a $300 price tag for these headphones but because of the outbreak and the production issues they were forced to raise it from between $320 to $360 so I'm guessing we'll see a $349 price tag on those end processor confirms air tags are slated for WWDC he also mentions that we'll be seeing a refresh for the 13 inches MacBook Pro he speculates that it's very possible we could see a 14 inches display on this new MacBook Pro but at the very least it will be a spec bump featuring Intel's latest 10th generation processors and speaking of Intel has just announced its new 10th generation Intel's processors they say it's the fastest mobile processor in the world exceeding the 5 gigahertz boosts speed to 5.3 GHz it's a very minor spec bump I'm just glad that Apple will finally be adding Wi-Fi 6 to their flagship MacBook I'd also like this to be Apple's last Intel's processor in their flagship MacBook before their own RM processor which is rumored for later this year or early next year and regarding AirTags Apple had a little oopsie as someone uploaded a video on their support channel directly referencing AirTags in the video Apple quickly removed that and that basically confirms AirTags is the official name I don't know if any of you remember this but last year Max Hawaiian Bank reported that Apple is working on iPhones that work underwater and with rain or just liquid on the display in general now a new patent application details that yes Apple is still pursue this and not only are they working on an iPhone that works underwater they want it to work even better with a custom interface apparently Apple is designing some sort of wet mode or underwater mode where you'll be able to take your iPhone underwater operated and have an entirely new interface that is simpler and easier to use especially considering the fact that you're underwater you don't want to be fumbling with all these little controls it'll be using vibrations and an easier interface to make your life easier as someone that lives in the pacific northwest this is a very welcome feature for me i'd love to see an iphone that doesn't freak out with just a little bit of rain on it even in this day and age there are still some scary bugs being found on the iphone one being an exploit that gained access 
access to the camera on the iPhone using 7 exploits daisy chained together and Apple paid out $75,000 to get it it's scary that it only costs that much money to theoretically gain control of someone's camera how do you sold this exploit to the wrong hands also there's a bug with FaceTime where people that have updated to 13.4 can't communicate with older devices on iOS 9.3.5 or 9. 3.6 This is for the 4s and certain iPads unclear why this is but in times like this with a pandemic it's scary that some people can't communicate with our loved ones and regarding the status of Apple stores it's possible they'll be reopened early May I think it's wishful thinking but that's what Apple is tentatively planning alright yeah thanks for watching and see you on my next video.